those 10. Um, if you're running something else like Mac or anything like that, it's obviously going to be a few different things that can be Windows key and stuff like that. It's obviously different. Uh, you're going to need a micro SD card reader, um, a 16 gigabyte micro SD card, uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, B or B plus. I'm using the Pi 3 B, which is the version 7 L ARM processor on there for this video. You're going to need a HDMI monitor and a HDMI cable, um, USB mouse, USB keyboard, and a micro USB cable for powering the Pi further down the, the video. So first thing we'll do is we'll download the software. I've already already got it here. Um, ignore that. That's my boarding passes for my flight. <laughs> um, but yeah, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to um, a website to download an SD card formatter, which does a better job than the standard formatter. Um, if you type in SD card formatter and go to this website here, and if you go down here and click either for Windows or Mac, and then just scroll back down to the bottom again, and then click accept, and you should get the download. So you want to download that to your desktop and install that. Next thing you're going to need is a program called Etcher, um, which you can get here. Um, that's the X64. If you need to do it, download for a different OS, then you've got the options by clicking the arrow. And also, we are going to need Putty, which is putty.org. So you can see here, if you click on this link <clears throat> and then down the version, download the one that you need. And finally, VNC Viewer. VNC Viewer. And you've got your different operating systems here and download the most recent one. So once you've got all them, install them. Um, so you've got SD card formatter, etcher, putty, and VNC viewer. And then the next thing you're going to need to do is download the Raspberry Pi OS, um, which you can find on their website. <coughs> if you go down to this one here, Raspberry Pi desktop, and then click download ISO, or ISO. Um, that's the, have I got that one or have I got another one? Why is that a different one? Hmm. Hang on one second. Sorry, yeah, click this link here. And then you want to be downloading the Raspberry Stretch with desktop. Uh, as of now, it's April 2018. Uh, they're releasing the kernel version there. So if you download the zip, and once you've got it, extract the ISO or ISO to your desktop so you've got that there so I'm going to get my micro SD card and I'll plug it into my computer and the first thing I'm going to do is open up SD card formatter sounds a bit loud <clears throat> turn that down Yeah, so make sure you've selected the right drive because you don't want to be wiping your main hard drive. So just double check. Make sure you've got USB drive, which is M drive in my case. So select the right drive. You can see their capacity is saying 14.84, which is a 16 gigabyte SD card. Quick format and then click format and yes. And then you'll see that it's uh, formatted that card now. So we can close that down. <coughs> and then we're going to open up etcher and what this basically does is it writes the uh, image file onto the SD card so we need to select the image file first so we need to locate where we downloaded the Raspbian stretch ISO and click open <clears throat> make sure we've got the USB drive or SD card selected and then we're going to click flash and then when you get this command um, allow app notification on Windows, just click yes. And you'll see it's starting to do its job. Um, it'll go through a, a stage of flashing with the bar coming across and then you'll 
once it's done that it'll also come across and do verif verifying and it'll take about 12 15 minutes something like that so I'll speed the video along and get to the uh, good bits Okay, so now that's done, um, we can close this and we want to make sure we eject the SD card properly. Uh, this can create a lot of problems if it's not done correctly. So if you click your little arrow here, click on the USB dongly looking thing and it already seems to have ejected. Okay. Yeah, so that's done. Okay, so we've put the micro SD into the Raspberry Pi itself. We've plugged in the USB keyboard and USB mouse and started it up. And this is what you'll see to start with. You won't see this, you'll see like a couple of lines with a couple of crosses in there, and you won't see this either. And um, that's because I'm remote viewing this just so I can record it so you can see what I'm doing. So, yeah, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here <coughs> and click this icon preferences and then Raspberry Pi configuration and in this bit here you want to click interfaces and you want to en enable SSH and VNC uh, and then localization you want to set your um, local where you are basically um, your time zone again and also your keyboard so you've got the right keyboard setting for your region and then click OK and you'll see this in the top once you've enabled VNC and that SSH. So you want to click on your lines with the crosses here and then click on your internet. Um, what's it called? Access point. And then type in your password. And then once you've done that, just click on this VA and it will tell you here the IP address for the Raspberry Pi itself. You want to make a note of that for later um, so you can SSH directly in from your PC. Um, so when that's all done, um, just come out of this. Uh, also, sorry, you want to set yourself a password as well so it's password protected. So if you click here and then options, change this um, change this here to VNC password and it'll ask you to tap password in and that's it yeah that's for all the basic settings for setting up the Raspberry Pi <laughs>